This is Iris from Cashmere Goat in Camden, Maine. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Ravelry and how to search for a yarn and why you might want to do that. So sometimes what happens in the shop is somebody will come in and they just fall in love with a yarn that we have. And you know, maybe they want something new, they're kind of bored of the usual things that they might make. And what could they do with this particular, this particular yarn? Um, and as we mentioned before, there is the yarns tab up at the top left, this yarns tab right here. And there's also a quick search. Um, so I could, if I know the name of that yarn and I'm just, you know, moving quickly in the shop, I might just come to this quick search box and pop in my yarn name. But for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to click on the yarns tab in the upper left. And what comes up um, is a search bar, of course. Um, there's also browse by fiber. Sometimes that's really helpful for some folks. And then I get popular new yarns, which is um, interesting. Sometimes it's a place that I browse. So I'm going to pop in, and I've already searched for it because I wanted to see how what, what the search would look like before I started the video, Yak by Lang. And I'm searching for this one because it's a, it's a fall favorite. It's a really lovely yarn, um, beautiful colors, kind of soft, tweedy colors, and it's a merino and yak blend. And so when I put in Yak by Lang, I get all these different terms that have, you know, Lang and Yak. But I know that the one I'm thinking of is this top hit, the 70% Merino, 30% Yak. And similar to the patterns page on Ravelry, I have a lot of detail here in the center of the page. Um, I can look at colorways. Um, it doesn't look like the there's all the colors that are listed. These are just from people's stashes, but okay. Um, and I can see here are some other ones that are also listed, but I'm not seeing like all of the colors here. But mainly I come to this page and I see the meterage, the yardage, I see the weight of each ball, the gauge, suggested needles, it tells me the weight of the yarn. Um, and then I get a little bit of a description. It's uh, mulesing free, 30% yak, super soft, beautiful natural colors, etc. So if I've got this customer who's just loving that yak that they, they're like, I have to make something here. I will often come to, and let me zoom in here, the projects tab. I want to see what people are making with yang, uh, <laughs> yak by Lang. Oh, sorry about that. Um, and so what I have here are 118 projects listed that are made with Lang's yak. I've got a Sophie scarf. I've got a solo scarf. I've got a shawl, a, a cardigan. I have a cute little pup bandana cowl. And I've got some ribby looking hats, a really cool pullover. So these are just, they're not really organized in any sort of a way. Um, but what I like to do is because the person might say like, I, I really want to make a hat, but you know, I just, I, I, I'm, I'm tired of my old plain old vanilla hat. So what we can do is we can search within the projects, all these yak projects listed, and I'm just going to put in the word hat, and then that will filter out, hopefully most of the other stuff. Um, and so now I've just got a page of hats. You know, this one looks like there's maybe some interesting, maybe mistake rib going on in there. Um, <clears throat> got a slouchy one. This is a color work hat, headband, more color work. I don't know why these mittens came in here. Sometimes that happens, you know, the algorithm. Maybe it's because it's German. I don't know. Um, ooh, you know, cables. And then there's hat and yak, which is a really fun free pattern that a lot of folks use. But so this is going to be the place where that that um, where you might start to begin to get ideas. Okay, so oh, look, there's my own. I made a bunch of hats and yak last Christmas for people on my holiday list. Let's you know we'll just look at this one. Ooh, fun cables. I'm going to click here. That's the quick glance at the at the details of the hat so you get a little closer and then I can look at the project by clicking on this. So the totally toasty toque is the name of the pattern. And so if my customer is saying, oh yeah, let's go, let's go check that out. Let's take a look at it. All right. So we've got totally toasty toque. 
Um, it's, yep, it's showing me worsted. It's actually available for free. And it's, um, it's just this pretty little cabled, cabled hat. So that is one way that you can kind of uh, follow your search by using the lens of like, I've got this great yarn and I wanna make something with it. And then kind of narrowing down your search so that um, like we were looking at with Lang, we started to dig in and say like, okay, how about a hat? So, you know, okay, how about, um, you know, it was from all those projects down to let's look at hats only. And so it can be a nice way to just sort of narrow the focus and uh, figure out what you actually really want to make. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you have a particular area of Ravelry that's kind of giving you the heebie-jeebies or make you, making you a little confused that you'd like to know more about, please leave us a comment about that below this video. And don't forget to like us here on YouTube, follow us here, as well as on Instagram and Facebook. And in the meantime, happy making, and we'll see you online.